Hi, would you like to learn how to trade a downside breakout um, using uh, an option put debit spread? Hi, I'm Larry Gaines, Power Cycle Trading, and in this video I'm going to show you a potential setup where we're looking for a downside move. So this is Western Digital, and this is what we call a volatility squeeze. So these dots are, uh, you know, we've programmed in a rule that we use to identify what we call a, a volatility compression squeeze. So we're basically looking for this chart pattern here that's kind of a coiling and we're looking for it to break either up or down. So right now we've got momentum showing us to the downside. Now here's the key right here. So it's sitting right on this 200 day moving average which comes in right at $83. So this pattern is kind of one that we call a cliffhanger. So if it can separate kind of on a closing basis below this 83, then it opens up the door for potential really good move to the downside. So your first target down would be this 81 uh, 50 level, that's the Fibonacci level, and then the final potential target would be down to that prior low, 78. So with this trade, if it is to break this 200 day, then a real easy to find risk, risk type trade setup would be to do a put debit spread. So let me show you the uh, potential trade setup. So a real defined risk trade would be to go out and you can do it this week, buying this week's expiration, or you can go next week. So this is October 6 series buy an 82 and a half put sell in the 81 so this is what we call a put debit spread uh, currently going around 47 cents this would be 45 47 seven dollars per option spread so you can see your risk on this risk profile would be 47 46 dollars would be your max risk if it went straight up that's the most you would lose the debit paid and your potential profit would be if at expiration on friday it closed at 81 or below you'd make over a hundred dollars so two to one return on a risk of 47 so that's for this week's expiration or you could go out next week which would make a little bit more but this is a, a trade setup very defined risk the key here though is to be aware that it looks potentially like it wants to break lower based on our momentum signal indicators here but it's sitting right on that 200 so I want to see a little bit more more closing conviction and um, to see if it can separate below that 200 now if it holds that 200 it could retrace back up but this is a chart pattern, and that's why you would do it as a put debit spread, so really to minimize your risk. All right, I hope that helps. I'll talk to you on my next video update.